Okay, here we're going to use the inverse of the coefficient matrix to find the solution to the following system of equations. We've got negative x minus 3y equals negative 2, 4x plus 5y equals 8. So the idea is we can write this system of equations using matrices. We look at the coefficients, we have negative 1, negative 3, positive 4, positive 5. We could multiply that by x and y, and that's going to equal negative 2 and 8. So the idea is, if we call this the matrix A, we could abbreviate our next matrix, we can just even call it maybe capital X, and that's going to equal our, I'll call this matrix C. The idea is, we've got this matrix equation, AX equals C. If we multiply on the left by the inverse matrix, the uh, A inverse times A will just leave us with the identity matrix. So we'll just be left with X on the left side. It says our solution, uh, to get our solution, we just need to take A inverse and multiply it by C. So our whole goal uh, is to find A inverse and then to multiply it by C. Okay, so again, A has entries negative 1, negative 3, 4, and 5. We've seen to get the inverse, you can take 1 over the determinant. And then if we, our original matrix, if that's A, B, C, and D, we've seen that you just switch the entries D and A, and then we change the sign on B and C. So I'm going to use this formula to calculate the inverse. To me, it seems uh, certainly the, the, most, the most simple way to do that. So to get the determinant, we'll take negative 1 times 5, which will be negative 5. And then we'll subtract the product of 4 times negative 3, which will be negative 12. So we've got negative 5 plus 12, which is going to give us positive 7. So it says our to get A inverse, we'll take 1 over 7. Let's switch the negative 1 and 5. And then we have to change the sign on our other two entries. So we'll have a positive 3 and a negative 4. And if we multiply by 1 over 7, we'll simply have 5 over 7, 3 over 7, negative 4 over 7, and negative 1 over 7. So the last thing we have to do here now is to multiply our inverse matrix by the uh, matrix containing entries negative 2 and 8, and that's going to be our solution. So let's see, our solution will take the inverse, 5 over 7, 3 over 7, negative 4 over 7, negative 1 over 7, and again we'll multiply that by negative 2 and 8. Okay, so when we simplify here, We'll have 5 over 7 times negative 2, and then we'll add to that 3 over 7 times positive 8. That's going to be the first entry in the first row, and then we'll take negative 4 over 7, multiply that by negative 2, and add to that the product of negative 1 over 7 multiplied by 8. All right, so almost there. That's going to be negative 10 over 7 plus 24 over 7. And then we'll have 8 over 7, uh, well, minus 8 over 7. And if we simplify, negative 10 plus 24 will leave us with 14 over 7, or positive 2. And then our next entry will simply be 0. So it says the solution to our original system of equations will be x equals positive 2 and y equals 0. And I'm going to go back and 
Again, I always like to check these just because it's easy to make a little mistake. Let's go back to the very original system here. Well, let's see, if, if y is 0, we're just simply going to get rid of those terms. If x is 2, we will get negative 2, so that works. And if x again equals 2, 4 times 2 will be 8, so hey, that also works. So looks like we didn't make any arithmetic mistakes here, so our solution to our system will be the value x equals 2 and y equals 0.